Those IV drips and injections have really been growing in popularity. But doctors are warning that you should not be getting them at these unregulated med spas. So Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike joins us live to talk more about this. Good morning to you, Dr. Mike. Well, hello, uh, uh, Melissa, Sally, Galan, you look phenomenal. Oh, gee, <laughs> thanks. We're freezing. We're freezing you know, down we... in Houston. All right. Well, so... listen, in Philly, we get a half an inch of snow, and you can't find a loaf of bread will be snowed in <laughs> until May. That, that's the way it works around here. So the, anyway. these IV drips, let's uh, talk about this. Why are they so risky? What's so risky about this, especially if you're getting them at a med spa that already specializes in this? Well, Delon, look, number one, uh, if it is a reputable place with people that are healthcare professionals, um, that's fine. The, the problem I have is that unlike perhaps a spa, you have people like me who know your chitlins and know your ins and outs and everything else. And so um, I know your medical history and uh, perhaps you're on blood pressure medicine. Perhaps you have a history of a low potassium or a high potassium. So uh, these are things that can be affected by giving people intravenous fluids. Now, why do people do this? Well, hangovers, jet lag, uh, they, they, they might have a vitamin deficiency, or maybe they just want to feel better. Um, the, the, the data on just giving people intravenous vitamins that aren't deficient is rather scarce. Uh, so, look, um, uh, if you have a history of heart problems or rhythm problems, it could be risky. Uh, you can get an infection, and by the way, you can get sepsis. If you get right into the vasculature, you put an IV in, and it's not done properly, and it's not done sterilely, you can get into big trouble. And what about what's going in? Is it uh, a, a bag of fluid that uh, was not put together in a proper way, uh, in a sterile way. So these are the things that keep people like me up at night. Uh, but hydration is definitely something if you are dehydrated, you, you, you know, and, and certainly may help you feel better if you have a hangover. But my point there, why did you drink so much? Or if you didn't, if you were drinking, why weren't you hydrating during the time you were drinking? Those are the issues. All right, so let's say that somebody wants to get one of these. They love the benefits. What are those right questions to ask? I guess just making sure your medical provider knows those meds or any health problems you have? Well, I would check with your health care provider uh, and make sure they're cool with it. Uh, secondly, make sure that the, the facility that you're going to is reputable with professionals, healthcare professionals, um, search around and see if there's any negativity associated uh, like we do with everything. I, I don't buy or, or go anywhere, or even a restaurant, without checking the reviews. So you want to check on all those things. But look, we as a nation don't drink enough fluids and we need to be more hydrated. But I'd rather, to be honest with you, see you do it orally and use your intestines rather than getting IV fluids, which we generally use in hospital settings when people are extremely sick if they can't keep anything down. That That's kind of the way we do it. But mm -hmm. look, uh, this is America. All right. And everything goes. All right. <laughs> Dr. Mike, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sorry about the Eagles, too, up in Philly. <laughs> We'll see you soon. Eh, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> All right, that's what we have to say down here. We still is. have like 24.